Assalamu alaikum I am Asma Mushtaq from the Double Vibes in this video lecture we are going to learn about the binary multipliers in the digital logic design so binary multipliers are basically used for the multiplication of two binary numbers and uh, what happens basically in the binary multiplication we have the multiplicand let's call it b so and we have another number which we name it as multiplier now assuming that both a and b are of two bits okay so from here you can say that if a is a two bit number then its bits can be represented by the subscript a1 a0 similarly the number b can be represented by the bits b1 and b not okay and once we are going to multiply a and b we will take the same approach just like we do for the multiplication of the decimal numbers fine so this is the number b which is the multiplicand and this is the number a which is the multiplier in this case what happens we take each bit of the multiplier and we multiply it with each bit of the multiplicand all right and we will do an example as well so here you can see i have chosen the maximum value for a and b for the multiplication all right first i will take a note and i will multiply it with each bit of b so this gives me a note b note and then a note b1 when we perform this operation the first product that we obtain is known as the partial product okay now in the next step we take this second bit of the multiplier and do the same operation but this time we write the partial product with a left shift okay so we will skip this term and we will write down the next partial product below the next term so here you will have a1 b note and then a1 b1 this is the second partial product that we have obtained after obtaining the partial products the next step is to perform the addition depending upon the number of the bits that are going to be added since no bit is going to be added in this term so this term comes as it is usually the last or lsp term comes as it is fine which is marked as a not b not then since two numbers are going to be added so we can use a half adder over here which will generate in sum and carry the sum will be written down while the carry will be propagated to the next term so here you will have the summation of a not b1 and a1 b not and finally the last term comes with the addition of a carry if it is present all right for understanding this concept what we will do we have taken two numbers a and b and we have selected the maximum values of both these numbers because in the two bits we can represent the decimal 3 which is the maximum possible value now what we will do we will multiply this term with each term of the multiplicand and whenever the bit value is equal to 1 or whenever the multiplier value is equal to 1 we will notice that the multiplicand comes as it is so it appears as 1 and if it is equal to 0 then we will have 0 in place of the multiplicand now as i have multiplied the first bit with the multiplier so the next partial product will be written with the left shift okay since the next bit of the multiplier is also equal to 1 so i will write down the multiplicand multiplicand but this time with the left shift okay so see what happens one comes down as it is because there is no other bit present to be added now i'm going to add two numbers 1 and 1 fine so 1 plus 1 is 0 sum is 0 while you will have a carry 
so carry will be propagated to the next term so 1 plus 1 again 0 and here is a carry out from here we will also conclude that if the number of bits of multiplicand or b are equal to k and number of bits of the multiplier are equal to j then the resultant product which is represented by p is equal to having the number of bits equal to j plus k fine so j was having two bits k was also having two bits so 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 all right now if you have noticed that when i take one bit of the multiplier and i multiply it with one bit of the multiplicand then one into one is equal to one so one into one is equal to one 1 into 0 is equal to 0 and 0 into 0 is equal to 0 or 0 into 1 is equal to 0. Fine. So from here we can conclude that this is basically the AND gate operation where we get output 1 only when both are equal to 1. So at each state we are getting how many products 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, which means 4 AND gates are required or in other words, you can also determine the number of AND gates by multiplying J into K. Alright. So, this is the other formula which actually helps you to determine how many AND gates are required for implementing the circuit of the multiplier. Okay. Last one where we need to determine how many adders are required and what should be the number of bits to be added through them. So we need J minus 1 K bit adders. Okay, so J minus 1 results in 1 and then K bit means 2. So basically we need two half adders for implementing the multiplier circuitry. Here in this case for the two bit binary multiplier it says the task can also be implemented with one half adder. Why? Because if there is no carry propagated from here so assuming that if this bit is equal to 0 then 0 plus 1 will result in 1 and here you don't need to add the carry propagated since there is no carry so it can also be implemented with a single half adder as well okay so let's just design the circuitry where what we are going to do we basically have to and each bit of the multiplicand with a naught in order to obtain the first first partial product which involves the multiplication of the multiplicand with a naught what we need to do we will have a single wire representing a naught okay and here what we are going to do we are going to and each bit of the multiplicand here the first multiplicand bit is b naught and the second multiplicand bit is b1 okay and here i will so show the connectivity so from here what you have got a node b1 and a node b node since this is not supposed to be added anywhere it comes down as it is and gives us the first bit of the resulting product all right then in the next step what you are supposed to do you have to obtain the other partial product which is a1 and b0 all right and for that what you will do basically again you will take an other wire but this time it will be marked as a1 
fine and here what you will do you will multiply it with each bit of the multiplicand which is b not resulting in a1 b not and then here what you will do you will multiply it with b1 and this will result in a1 b1 okay in this way you have obtained two partial products fine in the next step what you are supposed to do in the next step we basically add these two partial products because these are basically two numbers one bit numbers which can be added using a single half adder so i will take the resultant of this and this and here i will apply a single half adder for the addition of these two numbers now what happens this half adder will generate a sum or and a carry if needed okay and this carry is supposed to be added in the last term which is a1 b1 so this generated if this carry is present we need to add it in the term a1 b1 using an other half adder which results in basically this is p1 and this is p2 and finally if the carry is generated as a resultant as well so this will be the maximum answer and here you will have p3 okay so this is the simple two bit multiplier that we have implemented using four and gates and two half adders now let's take an example of a three bit binary multiplier where we are going to multiply two numbers that are having three bits so suppose that a not a1 and a2 b not b1 and b2 are the bits of the corresponding numbers now again we will take each bit of the multiplier and multiply with each bit of the multiplicand so here you will have a not b not a1 b not then a2 b not fine similarly in the next cycle we will take the next bit of the multiplier and multiply it with each bit of the multiplicand this time i have assumed a1 sorry a as the multiplicand and b as the multiplier now what happens this term always comes as it is contributing to the first term of the product then what you have to do here you can see you can use two half adders for summing these two terms so let's just look at this first i took the first multiplier bit okay b note and i multiplied it with each bit of the multiplicand using the and gates these terms are generated then i took i took the next bit of the multiplier which was the b1 and again i generated the partial products but now this time you can see at this stage what is going to happen we have to add these two terms so this term and the term generated over here are added using a half adder and if the sum is actually taken as the next term of the product while the carry will be shifted for the summation of these numbers here one thing you should notice that you can also implement the addition using a full adder because three bits are going to be added or if there is a carry propagated what you have to do you have to use a four bit full adder but what i did i actually implemented four bit addition using two half adders which are basically the similar things so first i added these two terms a to b not a1 b1 and then their resultant and the carry generated are added using another half adder similarly here we can use a two bit adder and then if there is a carry propagated we can add it and using a full adder and in the last what we did basically again we added the last term which is a2 b2 and if there is a carry propagated plus there is a carry from the previous addition then this will result in the p4 and p5 
five terms. So this is the overall circuitry of a three-bit binary adder. Thank you for watching.